Denmark managed to get through the second round despite suffering two losses in the first two games, but their emphatic win versus Russia was enough for them to get second place and advance to the knockout stages in extraordinary circumstances. Danish were rocked in the first game after the collapsing of their star Christian Eriksen in the first half versus Finland. And after losing the second game versus Belgium, hope seemed all but lost for the red and white. And now Denmark will fancy their chances in the second round when they face Wales, especially after returning to their best in the game versus Russia. Add to that the fact that the Danes are playing in the name of their teammate Eriksen, whose condition is still being monitored by doctors and who might never kick a ball professionally again. Eriksen's importance for the Danish national team is clear for all to see. After all, he's the most valuable player and was the main source of danger whenever he's on the pitch, thanks to his excellent vision and thunderous shooting. However, coach Kasper Hulmand has in his disposal a number of excellent players and has successfully created a team not to be taken lightly by any opponent in this tournament. In goal, Denmark has a tradition for having great goalkeepers and after the great Peter Schmeichel, they were blessed with his son Kasper who has been the number one for a long time and has proven himself to be a top tier goalie and leader when called upon. And in front of Schmeichel Denmark has their hero Simon Kaya who managed to save the life of Eriksen because of his swift reactions in that incident and he plays alongside Premier League defenders Christensen and Vestergaard. As for the midfield, no doubt that the absence of Eriksen will be felt. But Denmark has some solid options in the likes of Delaney, Voibjerg and the young Damsgaard. And in front, the lightning fast attack is led by Barcelona's Martin Braithwaite and Yusuf Paulsen. And with their strength and pace, they will be a handful for any defense they face. In the end, Denmark already proved to the world that they were by qualifying to the round of 16 against all odds. But be sure that they will try to go even further in the hopes of making their people proud and who knows, maybe recreating the fairy tale of 1992.